Brains on Board project is a five-year, five million pound uh, research project with three universities, Sheffield, Sussex and Queen Mary, and we're trying to engineer, reverse engineer the honeybee brain and use our increased understanding of that to develop artificial intelligence controllers for flying robots like quadcopters or drones. And we're able to do that because the honeybee brain is very small but very sophisticated. We can actually tease apart how it works in collaboration with biologists in Sheffield and in Queen Mary. And then we can take new computer processor technology, particularly developed for the 3D computer games, but now getting into the mobile phone device market, to actually run the simulation of the bee brain in real time on board a flying uh, vehicle. And we're trying to reproduce the kind of levels of autonomy and learning that the, the honeybee individually exhibits in the real world. A lot of people are getting very interested in using uh, unmanned air vehicles, drones or quadcopters to do a variety of things from you know, delivering packages that you've ordered on the internet um, to various other applications. We think that our AI controllers could be really useful in giving autonomy to these flying vehicles and in particular helping them solve problems like search and rescue. If you imagine a collapsed building where you need to go in and find survivors and report locations back to emergency services then you really need a very autonomous, flexible AI controller to be able to go into this hazardous, unknown environment and explore it and learn things about it and extract information from it. Sheffield is the ideal place to lead on this research project because we've got the experience in flying robots, we've got Sheffield Robotics, which is a very substantial interdisciplinary research centre, but we also have world-class expertise in taking recordings from insect brains and honeybee brains. And actually, we can set up even honeybees flying in virtual reality arenas and figure out how they're navigating in, in those environments.